You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, guys and gals, you realize we have been uh, really concentrating on the New England Patriots lately, and we're going to talk about the Patriots again in this video, more specifically the status of Bill Belichick and how his ousting might end up getting handled by the New England Patriots. We're also going to talk about a former Patriot, the GOAT, the best Patriot ever, the best NFL player ever, if you ask me, Tom Brady, absolutely sandblasting straight to hell the NFL in their officiating. And I don't know if you guys have been really paying attention, but some of these rougher, roughing the passer calls have been dog bleep. I mean, they have been horses' ass everywhere. Just terrible. Terrible calls by the NFL, and Tom Brady doesn't hold back because he blasts the NFL into oblivion on these calls. And in case you don't know this, I bet you do, Tom Brady is a quarterback, right? Tom Brady's a quarterback, or was a quarterback. Uh, so you would think he would be partial to quarterbacks, but in this case, he's not happy about the way the game is being officiated. So let's do, uh, we're going to do Belichick first because uh, Adam Schefter, ESPN's Adam Schefter, went on with Pat McAfee and he gave a, a nice little spill about if and when Bill Belichick gets let go, he will get special treatment from the Patriots. I, I kind of assume this. I think he's not getting fired by Robert Kraft during the season, okay? I just don't think that's going to happen. I'm going to be real. I think if it is any other coach, even Andy Reid, if it was any other coach in the NFL, and I do believe the Patriots are staring right at 1-7, in seven, okay? In two more weeks, they're going to be 1-7. And there are a couple of winnable games towards the end of the year, this, that, and the other, if they can get their offense together somehow, some way, in a miracle fashion. Um, they're staring at one and seven. Any other coach, I believe, does get fired by ownership in season. I do. If he's been there a little while, a couple of three years, I don't care who, who it is. I think they would just, that would be it. One and seven, you'd probably be out the door. Belichick, it's not going to go down that way. So let's get to this and check out Schefter's um, comments on this situation and how this is going to be handled by the Pats and Robert Kraft. Allegedly on the hot seat. Is this something that you are hearing? I know Robert Kraft has come out and people are saying it is not something that he has completely shied away from. But do you see Bill Belichick getting fired? And if he is going to get fired, is it GM and Coach Belichick getting fired? Is it GM getting fired? Or is it Coach <clears throat> getting fired? <laughs> well, <clears throat> first of all, I think he's treated differently, as he should be, than any other coach. You know, on a Monday or a Sunday night after a season ends, you know, we'll get three, four, five, six firings of head coaches. And I just don't think you're going to get one of these statements on the last regular season game that Sunday night where the Patriots have fired Bill Belichick. I, I just don't think it works like that when there's the history and the accomplishments and the resumes uh, and the relationship that there's been between he and Robert Kraft. And so this situation is treated entirely differently, and they're having the type of season that's going to lend those types of questions, and everybody's going to wonder exactly how the situation is going to play out. Because nobody thinks that they can continue just like this wow. with the team reeling in a way that we're not used to seeing, with the offense struggling in a way we're not used to seeing, right. with the team performing in a way we're not used to seeing. This is so abnormal for a team that has been the best team arguably in all of sports yeah. over the last couple of decades. So Bill is, I think, 71, 72 years old. And everybody wants to see change, and he has been the guy at the top. Look, I just think that there are going to be some hard conversations that naturally occur between he and Robert Kraft. And where those go, I don't know. Is Bill going to want out? Are they going to want him out? Are they going to decide to mutually end it together? Like, there are a whole bunch of questions about how it will go on. But 
Was that Robert Kraft texting question, you right there? <laughs> was that Robert Kraft texting you right there? Yeah, he he said he he said, "Yo, we'll get to this in due time." <laughs> this is how we work. We bring up topics, and then people can text in like first time caller, long time listener. Yeah, kind of thing, you know? we love that. Hey, if- okay, so we we know how this works. Adam Schefter literally knows everybody in the league, uh, and talks to everybody outside of Aaron Rodgers. Oh, that's still funny as hell, but nonetheless, he knows. I'm sure he's got some kind of a relationship with Robert Kraft. I doubt he's got much of one with Bill Belichick because Belichick's so old school and probably doesn't love talking to the media. Uh, But there's a good chance Schefter has a pretty good idea how this is going to go, and I, I agree. I actually think that Robert Kraft, might have designs on keeping Belichick, but I think he's going to bring Belichick in, set him down, and be like, look, we got to get you a president, a player personnel, or a general manager, okay? And you're going to have to defer the personnel decisions to that general manager or president of player personnel, like a Nick Casario was previously. And I think... I don't think Belichick's going to want to do that. And then, because of that, I think you're going to see a mutual parting of the ways uh, between the two. Now, the one way I could see this not going down that way is if he takes a step back and goes, you know what, my son's on this staff, Troy Brown's on this staff, Gerard Mayo, there's all these people that are involved with me on this staff right now. And I want them to remain employed. And so maybe he defers. Maybe he's like, hey, I want a little influence on who we bring in, etc. Right? But I think Robert Kraft's going to demand that that Belichick gives up the personnel duties, ultimately. Because it's been, on at least on the offensive side. If he says, hey, Bill, you can continue to be involved with personnel on the defensive side, but I want us to draft primarily offense the next two seasons. Or, ne- yeah, next two years, next two seasons in the offseason. Then then maybe. I, I think that's that's probably how or, or what goes down there. So let's get to the GOAT. Let's get to Tom Brady because he ripped into the NFL. And this is something a lot of people have been very critical of the league over is some of these roughing the passer penalties. There was one last year on Monday Night Football that was very public and egregious that was just an awful situation. There was one during the Giants-Bills game the other night, and uh, and then another one involving uh, the Jets and the Broncos from the other night. So this is a yard barker. This is what Tom Brady said. Number one, he's happy to still be retired. Who could blame him? But he doesn't love what he's seeing with the referees throughout the first half of the NFL season. This is what he said. Football is a physical sport. There's a physical element to all of this, Brady explained. During his latest edition of Let's Go, Sirius XN show and podcast, per Zach Bockler of Bleacher Report, quote, you throw a 15-yard flag for something like that, you know, 20 years ago, maybe you wouldn't have had a flag. That affects the game in a big way. And it goes on to talk about these these penalties. Look at this play right here, folks. Everybody on that one. Um, I think that's what it was. The and there's going to be, yeah, roughing the roughing passer. The passer. The and then we're going to watch the play, okay? And it's it's pretty ridiculous. I mean, it, it truly is. It's a terrible call. I mean, that's a clean textbook hit. And you can't expect that guy to be able to pull up like that and and not make the, that's as clean as it gets. That's textbook. That's how it should. Yeah, Andy Reid, mad as hell. I don't blame him. And here's another one. The other I mean, you know, quote, this is not a foul. Yeah, this is not a foul. You know, I mean, uh, Giants Giants fans were fuming. I don't blame them. They were mad. Uh, Waller didn't receive the call. They're talking about the play in the end zone, but Brady insisted during the podcast that the moment in question was definitely a penalty and that the Giants should have had at least one more chance. And he's talking about the the, the no call um, 
pass interference call that was in there. And I'm not, I'm not playing that. That's two minutes long. But you get the point. Brady didn't shy away from speaking out against the league's enforcement of certain rules across the final seasons of his Hall of Fame career. However, he also claimed that this past February that he didn't, quote, get too caught up too much on one call after the Eagles cornerback James Bradbury was penalized for a defensive holding against the Chiefs wide receiver Juju Smith-Schuster in the Super Bowl. Quote, there's so many people that want it less and less physical. It's more like flag football. Brady continued the program. Maybe football goes to flag football over a period of time. And, of course, if it gets anywhere close to that, uh, I can tell you I'm out. (laughs) I'm out. I don't want to see that. I mean, they're putting flag football in the Olympics. I guess I might check that out. Maybe. But... Um, and there and there's NFL players already saying they want to play, uh, retired and current. I think I saw where Rob Gronkowski and Tyree Kill both want to play in the Olympics. That's neither here nor there. But that's not the game I want to watch. I want to watch guys. You know the NFL has done so much to try to get away from the jacked up days. You know uh, Tom Jackson, ESPN used to have the jacked up segment before Monday Night Football and. The NFL is supposed to be a physical game. It is. And some of these roughing the passer calls, I know they're scared to death that they're little gym quarterbacks, which they, you know, connect with television ratings are going to get hurt. But, I mean, let's not make this two-hand touch when it comes to quarterbacks. You know, I don't care if there is a backup quarterback playing. That takes the integrity out of the game. I'm glad Tom Brady's actually saying something about it. You know, I mean, he played just last year, right? And he you can tell he's worried about the direction of the league when it comes to those kind of penalties. And even worse, they're affecting outcomes of games. And it's BS. It's total BS. Tell me what you think, Black and White Sports 2 supporters. Peace them out. Until next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.